Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Tapshi Tech and Reviews. So in today's video, let's quickly check this little mini project which I did uh, during my spare time. So uh, I have used ESP32. So I wanted to show the potential ESP32 has to you know build some mini projects of your own. So here I have created one project which I will talk about. So yeah, without wasting any time, let's get in the video. Please enjoy. So this is just a prototype which I have made using breadboard. So maybe later on I'll use some PCB board and uh, improve this as well. So I have used ESP32. So ESP32 microcontroller, it comes with uh, Wi-Fi and uh, Bluetooth as well. So which is one good thing about ESP32. So I have used different modules over here. One is um, RTC, real-time clock. I have used a little buzzer and a mini display. Um, this basically what it does is uh, shows the uh, time and also shows different uh, you know azan prayer times and it will keep updating the time every day at night and it will you know keep storing the time in the eprom memory which esp32 has and uh, it will it will just fetch once we don't want to you know call the api multiple times so i just fetch it once every day and uh, RTC is, is used, you know, to sync the time. So whatever uh, time we are fetching from NTP, so we are uh, syncing the time with RTC. And uh, only once we have to do that. And later on, all the time will be, you know, uh, stored in this RTC itself. It has a mini battery. So it has a coin battery, which will be used, you know, to, to, to you know, continuously run the time. You don't have to keep syncing the time again and again. And if at all, if you remove the battery, and if you place a new battery the time will be reset so when this microcontroller starts again so what it will do is it will uh, call the ntp server again and uh, sync the time back into this rtc and this buzzer is used uh, so that it will buzz whenever it's time to prayer so let me quickly turn this on and show how it looks so i'll be using a power bank So as you can see, so first it will connect to Wi-Fi and it will show the success message that it's connected to Wi-Fi and then it will show all the prayer times and then the time and date and uh, the other uh, times which is not that important. Uh, this, is all related, uh, this is all related to Islamic timing so you don't have to worry about that. So this is uh, one potential which I wanted to show. So whenever it's time for Fajr. There would be a beep uh, that would be made out of this. There would be three beeps coming up, uh, coming out uh, in from this buzzer, which will indicate that it's time for prayer, uh, fajr prayer, or any other prayer that is mentioned here. So, so it shows all the time and uh, current time. So exactly at night, I've programmed it in such a way that it will fetch the latest time for the next day and that will be stored in the prom memory of uh, this esp32 microcontroller so this is rtc wherein the time will be synced and stored and uh, next time the all the time is read from this itself in this display so it's not calling the art uh, it's not calling the uh, ntp server to get the latest time it is always reading the time from here and, that, and that's how you are able to see the time here so this is how the ESP32 looks like and I have used a OLED uh, display over here. It's 0.96 inch display and I can, you know, so you can make the font size uh, that small as you can see to display multiple informations. And if I, let's start this again. So if I press this, it will reset and start the uh, microcontroller again. So it says welcome to Azan reminder connecting to Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi connected and then it will read the prayer time from so it will read the time from EEPROM memory and then read this time from the RTC and if it's time for fetching a new values from internet it will connect there and get the latest time. So yeah it will keep changing the screens like this uh, it's based on how we have programmed it. So I've programmed it something like this for two seconds or three seconds it will show and change the screen 
and show the time and then display the other times over there and this way you can you know show multiple informations so yeah this is a quick video which i wanted to make uh, to show you all and uh, i'm trying to do some other uh, improvements as well in this project mini project during my uh, spare time so yeah if you like the video please do hit the like button and uh, if you want to know the code for this let me know put it in the comments i will share it definitely share it so yeah if you like the video please do hit the like button subscribe comment let's catch again next video until then see you bye